The sound of planes, trains, and automobiles permeate the busy Hillsgrove community in Warwick, Rhode Island. This is notably different from the peaceful time on May 30th, 1901, when the original St. Francis of Assisi Church was blessed. At that time, people traveled by horse and carriage, and even 20 years later, cars were scarce in Warwick. The missionaries of the Sacred Heart, founded in France in 1854, staffed nearby St. Joseph's Church in West Warwick, and they would travel weekly to the Hillsgrove area to celebrate Mass for the Catholics residing there. Many in the area worked in the nearby mills, and, like the missionary priests, were largely French Canadians. Families moved into the sprawling neighborhoods. Businesses populated the Jefferson Boulevard area. A need for a Catholic church in the Hillsgrove area was inevitable. The cornerstone for the new church was laid on Thanksgiving Day in 1900, and a small wooden structure was erected on Jefferson Boulevard. Weekly Masses began in 1901, and it remained as a mission parish until August 7, 1943, when it was canonically erected as a parish. About 800 people belonged to the parish at that time. The missionaries of the Sacred Heart continued until the 1980s, when diocesan priests replaced them. The statue of the Sacred Heart of Jesus reminds us of the mission's many years of service to our parish community. Priests did not originally live in what is now the rectory. Until 1939, this building was a Swedish Baptist church. It was purchased in the early 1940s. Parish offices were located on the first floor and the residence on the second floor. Post-war building and the baby boom created a need for a larger church building, and in 1960, Bishop McVinney gave permission to build both a new church and a Catholic elementary school for the parish. The school auditorium was built first and was to service the church until the old one was dismantled and a new one built. But smaller families and inflation of the 1970s halted that dream and the church remains in the intended auditorium. The church and school opened in 1962. Early on, 350 students were enrolled in the school. There were less than 120 children enrolled when the school closed in 2009. The church building underwent many renovations over the years, including a new entrance, the addition of air conditioning, an updated sanctuary, and installation of stained glass windows, which were handcrafted by a parishioner and depict the life of St. Francis of Assisi. Sisters of St. Joseph staffed the school and assisted in the church. A convent was built in 1965 and also housed the preschool program until the very early 2000s. Only Sister Joan Hawkins remains from this group of dedicated religious sisters. Sister Charles Joseph dedicated over 40 years to the school and was still somewhat active in the school and parish until her death in 2008. The parish community was teeming with activities and clubs. The Far Club, Ladies of St. Anne, Sports, CYO, Happy Days, parish picnics, and many pastoral, social justice, and other social groups met regularly for fun and to support the needs of the community. As parishioners aged, many of the clubs and activities ceased. Large families like the Robinsons, the Migas, and the Batellas were replaced with much smaller families. Betty Batella, longtime parishioner, a member of the oldest social group in the parish, the Ladies of St. Anne, fondly remembers many warm memories of baptisms, first communions, confirmations, eighth grade graduations, 
and all the fundraisers to help subsidize the tuition done by the Holy Name Society, the Ladies of St. Anne, and the Home School Association. Christmas plays were amazing and involved the whole school. The once a year fashion show was one of the biggest fundraisers and was a lot of work, but also a lot of fun, along with the bingos. Not to be forgotten, the chicken barbecue done by the Holy Name Society. And last but not least was Happy Days and the family picnic and cookout at the end of the school year. Many of the parishioners still actively attending weekly Mass fondly remember the many missionary and diocesan priests who have ministered at St. Francis of Assisi. Some parishioners are fairly new to the parish and others have been here for more than 80 years. These memories will be held in our hearts forever and new ones will be made at a new parish. In 1961, as a building campaign continued, parishioners were reminded, seldom in a lifetime are you allowed to make a sacrifice which will benefit so many for so long. Those sacrifices brought many people together and we can all agree that for 120 years, St. Francis of Assisi Parish in Warwick, Rhode Island was a very special place. Eternal 